Hello and welcome to Dev Program. In this video, we are going to learn about what is web browser, what are the components of web browser, and how they are working together to display the beautiful web page. We are using different web browsers like Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and Safari based on our preference. Basically, any browser is a software application which can be installed in computer or mobile. And it is used to locate, retrieve and display the content of World Wide Web. When we enter URL in the address bar of the browser, our computer will connect with DNS, which is the phone book of internet used to translate domain names into IP addresses. Web browsers usually interact with the servers only through IP addresses. Once the browser got the IP address from DNS, it will search for the server in World Wide Web and send the request to the server. The server will send the response which is usually contains only zeros and ones. The browser will process the response and display the content in user interface. Before talking about main components of the browser, let's learn about what are all the main operations of the browser. First, it has to fetch the data from the server. Then, received data needs to be processed and displayed. And also, it needs to be stored to improve the performance of the browser. There are different components in the browser which are responsible for all these operations. What are they? Network layer is responsible for fetching data from the server. Rendering engine, JavaScript engine and UI backend are responsible for processing the data. Browser engine and user interface are responsible for displaying the processed content. Data persistence layer is responsible for storing the data to improve the performance of the browser. Let's see all these components in detail. Network layer is responsible for fetching data from the server. Any communication between browser and external servers are always goes through network layer. It uses HTTP or FTP protocols to fetch the resources. Response of the server can be any type like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, image, PDF, JSON or other file types. To improve the performance of the browser, network layer will first search for the resources in local cache. If the resource is found in local cache, it will be fetched from local cache itself. Or else, network layer will send new request to the server, gets the response and store it in local cache for future use. Once we receive resources from the server, they need to be processed. Let's learn about rendering engine first. Network layer will send the server response to the rendering engine. Rendering engine is responsible for painting the response of the server based on the mime type of the content. Rendering engine is working together with JavaScript engine and UI backend to process the data. Key part of the rendering engine is HTML parser. If the server response is HTML, rendering engine will first create document object model from HTML file. Then it will create CSS object model from CSS file. Then DOM and CSS ARM are used to construct render tree, which is having only the visible elements of HTML. Once the render tree is constructed, layout operation will calculate size and position of each element in the render tree. Once the layout completed, paint operation will define the style of each element in the render tree and the final output of the paint operation will be sent to browser engine for display. Each browser has their own rendering engines and they are mostly written in C++, Google Chrome Blink, Internet Explorer MS HTML, Microsoft Edge Edge HTML, Mozilla Firefox Gecko, Safari WebKit. This is why we are having browser compatibility issues between the browsers. Next component involved in processing the data is JavaScript engine, which is used to convert JavaScript code into machine code. And the output of the JavaScript engine will be sent to rendering engine for further processing. 
JavaScript engine is responsible for interpreting and executing JavaScript code embedded in the HTML document. Each browser have their own JavaScript engine implementation. Google Chrome uses V8. Internet Explorer and Microsoft Edge uses Chakra. Mozilla Firefox uses SpiderMonkey and Safari uses WebKit. Third component involved in processing the server response is UI backend. It is responsible for drawing basic widgets like combo boxes, windows, etc. It is used by user interface of the browser to draw forward and backward button, address bar, bookmark button, etc. It is also used by rendering engine to paint the server response. Behind the scenes, UI backend uses operating system's UI methods and it exposes a generic interface that is not platform specific. There are two components in the browser which are responsible for displaying the content. First one is the browser engine. It commands the actions between user interface and rendering engine. It queries and manipulates the rendering engine according to the input from user interface. The input from user interface can be requesting web page through address bar or clicking forward and backward button in the browser or any actions happening in the displayed web page. Second component responsible for displaying the web page is user interface of the browser. This is the front end visual appearance of the browser and it consists of forward and backward button, reload button, address bar, bookmarks button, along with the window that displaying the requested web page. Based on the user action, user interface communicates with other components in the browser. And there are no specific standards that govern user interface. So the user interface of different browsers might look differently. To improve the speed and performance of the web browser, some of the received data will be stored locally. Data persistence of the browser is achieved through various browser APIs. They are local storage, session storage. These two are key value pair mechanisms used to store JavaScript objects. Cookies are the key value pairs that is sent between client and server. WebSQL is an API for storing and managing data in database. IndexedDB is a low-level API for storing significant amount of structured data including files or blobs. File system is an API to access devices file system. AppCache is introduced in HTML5 and it is used to store website's static content. Service workers, they are Google's new way of storing data for offline usage.